now i am going to show you the one to many reverse relationship in the previous lecture i showed you one to many normal relationship but here i will use the reverse relationship reverse is actually you see that in the case of department we link the department table with the employee table and a single department can have many employees so in that case i use the has many function and use the employee function here and here i use the has many now i am going to make it off i will do the same thing in the case of employee not in the case of department so in the case of employee i will link it with the department this is like a reverse so public function here i will use the department function like this and here i will use the belongs to so return this then belongs to and here i will use the department class department class because i am going to link this employee with the department table so i am going to use this reversely so from the employee i am going to make the link with the department so i make it off okay now i am going to check actually what i am going to do that is i am going to get some employee for example i am going to get the detail of an employee for example where the employee id equal to 2 or 4 or 3 any employee id i will just write so from the employees table i will search by employee id for example id equal to 3 so how i can do that into the home controller here what i did in the previous case i am going to make it off okay so here i am going to use employee so like this as i am going to use a relationship here so i have used the width and here i will give the function name that is department because you see in the employee table i use the function department so i have i have started to search from the employee so i have a function here so that function i am going to use here and here i am going to give the class name that is fine now here i am going to give the id3 so if i normally want to get the information for example echo data of name so what i will get from the employees table normally i will get the name and phone without any issue so name and another information is phone here i am going to give a new line like this so this is normal but you see that in the employee row there is another one column that is department id so here only department id is given but as i have a link with the department table so from this id i can easily get the department name from here but in that case i will have to use the function here so here i am going to give data but you cannot give the department like this because you will have to tell that this is department function and then the name so this function name i give here and then i give the name here that means this department function means it will go to the department here that means i am going to the department table and from there i am going to take the name so that is represented here now if i want to refresh the thing you see that employee not found here look that as i am going to use the employee model so instead of department i will have to use here employee so i am not going to remove it that is here okay now i am going to call the model because this is the main model from where i started to search so this is the model employee now i am going to refresh you see that patrick triple e it triple three it that means patrick department id 2 2 means here is it so the it is showing here if i now want to get the employee id that is for example six just i am going here i am going to give here six now if i just refresh see that brain triple seven marketing so let's check it brain triple seven id equal to three three means in this table three marketing so it is working so i hope you have understood how to work with the one to many reverse relationship